parliamentary inquiry. Mr. Chairman, my parliamentary inquiry is in light of the testimony you just heard, what is the mechanism for the committee to transfer this hearing to Ohio where the crime rate is significantly greater than here in New York? Not is there a, a motion? Not a parliamentary inquiry. It is a, I'm asking parliamentary, how do we move the venue so we can have a hearing in a city or state that has a serious par crime problem, the state of Ohio? Not a, par not a proper state of parliamentary inquiry. The gentleman's time is expired. Appeal the ruling of the chair. It's not appealable uh, um, uh, ruling. Mr. Mr. Jordan, I'm, I'm sorry. If Mr. Nadler is going to make derogatory comments towards the mother of a homicide victim, he could at least allow General, her some time to respond. The lady is not recognized. Hang on. The committee will be in order. The committee will be in order. Uh, the gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from California is recognized for five minutes. Pursuant to what you just said, uh, I think it is important that you have an opportunity to respond to the statement by the ranking member that you, uh, justice was served in the case of your loss. Ms. Blaine. Sergeant Hassan Kareem is dead forever. Dead forever. There are four people directly responsible for his murder. Two people is not justice. And until there is justice for the murder of my son, there will be no peace, none. All four, I'm asking for a special prosecutor to reopen those murder and gang assault charges against Mary Stewart, Mary Saunders, and Travis Stewart. Present that evidence, present that video to a jury and allow them to decide those homicidal maniacs, innocents, or guilt. My son is dead forever. They deserve to be in prison forever. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Uh, Ms. Harrison, uh, there's been a lot of discussion at the end of the day uh, about gun violence, gun violence, gun violence. Uh, all three of you at that end, were there guns involved in, in the murder? No, there were not. Um, Madeline's son was stabbed, and my boyfriend and his best friend were both stabbed. So, knives kill. There's a will, there's a way, and when well, evil course. wants to attack, evil is going to attack. And I would also like to say that, you know, New York might have strict gun laws, but we also have conflicting gun laws, which I haven't heard from uh, Ms. Fisher, uh, regarding raise the age. Uh, Immediately after the Buffalo incident, Kathy Hochul implemented a raise the age that, in, that placed a ban on purchasing weapons, certain weapons for minors. But we also have a, an original raise the age law that conflicts that completely because it eliminates the criminal prosecution of anyone, any minor holding an illegal weapon. And in this state, you have a universal assault weapons ban and have for a long time. Isn't that true? I'm not sure about the assault weapons ban, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, and Mr. Alba, I, I think your testimony was very powerful. You, you too were attacked by other than a gun, isn't that correct? And if you'd pause the clock. Yes, go right. Uh, I'm yes, sorry, I can't hear you. There was no gun involved. And uh, your, uh, uh, your response that saved your life was also not a gun. Is that correct? Well, I, I appreciate the fact that you were able to respond. Uh, in New York, if I understand correctly, even though you were uh, operating a, a, a store, you were not allowed to have a weapon to protect yourself in the way of a gun. Is that correct? And I'd like to yeah, yeah. go ahead. Can, can you please repeat the question? Yes. In New York, you uh, you defended yourself with a knife because as a store operator, you were not allowed to have a gun. Is that correct? Okay. But you didn't have, you don't own a gun. Is that correct? Yeah, he doesn't own a gun. He doesn't really know much. Okay, thank you. And then uh, uh, 
I think, Mr. Holden, you probably could answer this. Uh, the, uh, according to the figures we were given earlier, uh, at least 6,000 of the 19,000 weapons were uh, New York-based weapons. Uh, is it true that, that guns go missing and get stolen and get straw purchased here in New York in spite of the most stringent laws in the, in the country? Exactly. You're, you're not going to get every gun off the street. The iron pipeline is a problem. We know that. But a lot of guns come from New York City. A lot of guns are made in New York City, put together in New York City. Um, the, the, the problem we have in New York State, in New York City, is we have some of the toughest gun laws in the nation, but they don't enforce them. The courts are not enforcing them. The DAs are not enforcing them. So this is a big problem. You have multiple shootings, one individual, five uh, arrests for shootings, and he's at back on the street. Well, and to how, Mr. how is that working? Yeah, and Mr. Giacomo, you uh, you represent so many of our brave men and women in blue. Uh, can you comment on that failure to enforce existing laws leading to the kind of both gun and non-gun violence that New well, York is seeing? You know, uh, like we said earlier, it was brought out in the hearing uh, that uh, New York City police and detectives took it. And, uh, you know, amazing amount of firearms off the streets. Uh, and every time they do that, they put their life in harm's way. They, they confront an armed felon, and they put their life in harm's way. Just for that individual to walk out the door the next day and, again, get a firearm and use it either in a robbery or in, uh, in a uh, gang-related uh, violence. And, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I'm not going to take all the time that was, should have been paused but I do want to comment that uh, a lot has been made about moving the venue or other places we could be. And I will reiterate on behalf of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, yes, we could be having this in Los Angeles. Yes, we could be having it in San Francisco. There are other places around the country in which systematically district attorneys are not enforcing the laws and leading to the kind of terrible stories we're hearing here today. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentlelady from California, Ms. Lofkin, is recognized. Hey, before you click on the next video, if y'all could do me a big favor and hit that like button. The algorithm loves it, and so do I, because it helps promote these videos and get the message out about what our government has been doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, because every time I put out a video, you want to know about it, right? Thanks again. And have a good one. See you on the next one. Peace.